behind us over at Grand Traverse Distillery. Could you give me a little tour of this place? Sure, yeah. Well, um, we're what you call a grain to bottle distillery. Okay. Right, so where we're buying, we're purchasing local grains. Now, as far as distillation spirit, uh, there are three main steps of production. You get your grain and you have to mash it, and then yep. uh, that begins kind of right over here. So just turn around. Okay. And we've got our two roller pin mill. Oh, we've got wow. our, okay. our, our okay. scale system. Yep. And these are the bins. I've got six of these. I can call up, uh, my local farmer. We use uh, Sen Brothers Firm out of Williamsburg. Okay. They can uh, pick them up empty, deliver them full the same day. Each tote's about. Uh, 25 to 2700 pounds of grain oh and my per gosh. batch uh, we're using about 1200 pounds and right okay. now we're seven days a week with two doubles so we're about eight to nine batches a week holy cow that's so amazing this is what turns the raw grain into grist which okay. kind of looks like oatmeal and flour which okay. is then fed into r1 so if we look this way yep. this is where the heart of the alcohol creation comes from so okay. people come back here and they see the still and they say oh great this is where you make your alcohol and yeah. well nope that's where we sort it this is where we organize it and we'll get to that Everything is made through fermentation here. Oh, wow. Okay. So 1,200 pounds of grain, 400 gallons of water. Yep. Uh, that's where you're breaking down. You want an enzyme reaction to turn yep. your starches into sugars. You then move that sugar mash into fermentation, which are the rest of the tank. So one okay. mash ton, five fermenters. OK. Um, and you ferment, you can hear some bubbling right now, right? Oh, really? uh, F5, which is the most recent tank, we did that one uh, the other day. Okay. Um, that's CO2. So oh, wow. okay. yeast consumes sugar, yep. creates CO2 and alcohol. So you want to capture the alcohol, yep. right? Uh, and after about five days, we have a beer mash. Now we do solids in. Now okay. like a brewery who filtered it, it is full on. It looks like a runny, soupy oatmeal. Okay, okay. After that, is distillation, okay? Which is where you would then take that raw, you know, uh, distiller's mash and then turn that into a spirit, okay? And depending on what kind of spirit, it would require, you know, a little bit of processing or a lot of processing. Okay, and, and then they go from here to the still, or yeah, where from do they fermentation into the still? Oh um, wow! Okay. And distillation, very simply put, is let's say you have a tank full of mash. Now you've got water, you've got yeast, you've got grain, you've got alcohol. Yeah. Right. Now how do you sort through all that stuff? Sure. Well, water boils at 212. Alcohol, generally, and there are a variety of alcohols formed in fermentation, but they boil at a much lower temperature. Yep. Basic idea is you run your still at that lower temperature. The water doesn't ever boil off. It doesn't ever steam. It stays behind. The steam that does rise off, ideally, is your alcohol. Okay. And then it's condensed on the far side. Okay. And that's where you get your kind of distilled spirit. And so you can okay. kind of watch a, you know, the path as it goes through. Now. This is a lot of still. We have 16 plates. We can kind of do it a, a number of different ways. Okay. Um, for a full-on vodka, it goes through the still three times in total for a uh, total yield of about 39 distillations. Oh, wow. Um, but a whiskey is much simpler. Yep. Um, here in the States, if it wants to be a vodka, if that's what you're going to sell, you need to hit 190 proof minimum off your still. Okay. Now, if I'm going to make a whiskey and I accidentally hit 190, if I even hit like 165, I can't call that a whiskey. What would it be called then? Well, at that point, you're a neutral grain spirit and you better keep at it to drive it to a, a vodka point or you know, keep it a neutral grain spirit, do an infusion with it, use it for cleaning, do something else with it. But the okay. range for a whiskey here to classify as whiskey is between 130 proof and 160 proof batch average off the still. Okay, wow. Okay. So. And then from there, it goes into one of these beautiful barrels, right? Yes, right. sir. Yep. So uh, right now, we're using Independent Stave uh, okay. Company. So since the beginning, we've been using these barrels. They're, they're fairly standard. They're American white oak. They're fairly heavily charred. Um, so we, where does it say the char? Does it? Because they usually say the toast on it somewhere, right? Yeah. At the bottom, it's American oak char level number four. Okay. Oh, right? cool. And fun fact with ISC, I think a lot of cooperage uh, companies, when you're trying to determine where this is from, yep. now ISC has two large uh, manufacturing plants here in the States, one in Kentucky, one in Missouri. Um, depending where it comes from, you'll have the state initials right on the Oh, neat. On, on the, the rivets there. Yep, okay. on the bands. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have something like we've put up a grand total of like 775 barrels so far since day one. We currently have about 580 of those oh in my stock. Gosh. So okay. when you look at what we have, much of this is new. Okay. Um, you know, in the very beginning, it was two barrels of whiskey. The year after that, maybe it was like four because you don't know. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and exactly. you can't put too much money into whiskey. Yep. You have to leave a lot of money for vodka because vodka is a quick turnaround. That's how you grow as a starting company. Yep. Unless you're going to be a company that is sourcing and then bottling. Yes. Right? So we always wanted to be a company that produces what we sell. Yep. Um, and it was slow growth into whiskey. Now, the last three years, we've put up almost 200 barrels a year, which is massive. Oh, my gosh. But yeah. we only have about 40 or 50 that we're able to sell because that many years ago, we were just now coming into some of our bigger production runs. So okay. good time, good times here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome, dude. Well, let's get to drinking. Do you have a cocktail for me today? Sure do. Oh, sweet. All right, go ahead. So what do we have today? All right, so uh, 
Michigan Manhattan. Okay. Right. We're using our Old George, which is a straight rye oh, whiskey. Oh, I love it. Right. Yeah. So it's a very yep. clean, very delicious. Uh, we're using a little bit of sweet vermouth, a little bit of tart cherry grenadine. Okay. Uh, and at that point, we're we're just about there. Um, just a touch of bitters. Now we use uh, our orange bitters, but you okay. can use pretty much any bitters for okay. this. Uh, something yep. a little bit, little bit bitter. So what? Yeah. <laughs> so what? Um, when you say your own orange bitters, do you guys make them? What's in a bitter exactly? So bitter is almost like a, it's like a tincture. It's an alcohol infusion. Yep. So there are many recipes out there for bitters, and we're using orange peel for the variety of ours. There are a couple other things in there as well, um, but you can pretty much do anything. You just okay. grab like a Nutrigrain spirit or a vodka, yep. you let that sit for a couple weeks, you strain everything out. Yep. And that's your bitters highly concentrated but you're picking bittering agents. Awesome. Um, awesome. And, yeah. So oh, cool. that's the drink. We'll, we'll all right. pour us up here. Yeah, I'm all about this, man. So we are at the Grand Traverse Distillery up in Traverse City, Michigan. And, and this is just unbelievable, Landis. Thank you so much for showing us around here. Oh, and, you are uh, welcome. Yeah. Wow. I'm excited. Thank you. There go. I like the glass, too. <laughs> Well, you're into making spirits, you're into trying out glassware. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, we'll show you that in a hot second here because I want to talk to you about what we're making. But, my goodness, cheers to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much cheers, for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You get the, you get the cherry. I'm, I'm getting the cherry. But uh, it's, it's so complex. It, it is delicious. This is absolutely a wonderful drink. Wow. There's a lot of layers to it, um, but yeah. you, in any drink you make, you just, you know, good quality ingredients. Our old George is very complex. There's a lot going on there, but that tart cherry grenadine is all natural. There's nothing, uh, it's you so know, cool. nothing fake about it. So you, you get these really nice flavors, and then as you're adding them together, you're just creating layers. Mm. That is wonderful. Please remember mm. that all drinks should be sipped and savored responsibly. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends.